cuando... Que ahí está, la, la número dos es de las non can en can. y con can. Ajá. Uh -huh. es, es las dos hice ya. Y no me he querido adelantar más, no que para ir un poco despacio, no porque uh, no está tan difícil. Uh -huh. Bueno, por lo menos yo no lo siento tan difícil. Hello, good evening. Hey. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Good. Hola, Lupita. Hola, ¿qué tal? Bien, ponga el video. <laughs> ya lo voy a poner. Otro momento. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's get let's get started. We'll wait for the other people to log in. All right, very good. So let me uh, let me share my computer with you. Um, para todos estar en la misma página. You know, supposedly they're gonna take a picture to us? Yes, I'm going to take a, a screenshot okay. when we're having uh, the meeting here. Yeah, you said, you said to connect before, like 10 minutes before. 10 minutes after. Uh -huh. after oh, yeah, the class. After. Yeah, mm -hmm. after, sorry. Okay, very good. So we are in Inglés Intermedio, Modulo 1. Uh, right now we are on section number two. And yesterday, yesterday, I'm sorry, um, Thursday, we finished count nouns and non-count nouns, okay? <laughs> so uh, just a little quick, a little quick repaso, okay, about count nouns, non-count nouns. Um, en el grupo de WhatsApp, les puse algunas, eh, algunas lessons extra sí. that you can see. So if you go to WhatsApp, you can see here in this page, there's a lot. Now, esto es algo extra. So, tal vez algunos temas no lo han visto todavía, okay? Eh, no está en la plataforma de inglés corporativo porque esto es algo independiente, esto es algo extra. So, for example, uh, here, let's, let's do this one together. Uh, let's say, for example, olives. Olives, eh, olives es son, eh, how do you say it in Spanish? Olivo. Eh, oliva. Oliva, uh -huh. pero aquí está, no es aceite. Ah, sino que el fruto. Sino que eso simplemente es olives. Do you see here? Yes. Olives. Is count noun. Is count, count noun, yes. Count noun. You can say count noun or countable. Cualquiera count. de las dos formas. It's okay. 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 Uh -huh. Then we have grapes. Let's see. <laughs> grapes. Countable. Countable. Peas. Peas. Countable too. Countable, yes. Let me say countable, peas. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, olive oil. Or countable. Non-countable, right? Bread. Uncountable. Uh-huh, uncountable. Okay. Now, this is where uh, tengo que usar una, un sistema de medida para decir una. For example, can I have one pound of bread? Okay. Ahí sí, porque estoy usando una, una, un sistema de medida. But only bread, uncountable. Honey. This is honey? No, no, it's not honey. Oh, right here. Honey. Uncountable. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Sausage. 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 Countable. Countable, huh? Can I have one sausage, two sausage, three sausage? Very good. Tea. T. No sé si este es T. Let me see. Let me look at the other pictures. Un canta. Yes. 
C. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Uncountable, porque tengo, tengo que usar un sistema de, de, de medida. Por, no, por ejemplo, can I have one cup of tea? Teacher. Ajá. Pero si cup of tea. Permite, me voy a ponerlos en mute. Para evitar el sonido, perdón. Ajá. Si quieren hablar, solo tienen, tienen que quitar el micrófono. No le escucho. Su micrófono está apagado. Hello. Ajá, ahora sí. Uh, cup of tea is countable, huh? but only tea is un uncountable. Yes, eso es lo que decía. Correcto. Eh, si estoy usando una medida, eh, está bien. Puedo decir, can I have one cup of tea? Two cups of tea. Ahí sí. Okay. Pero lo estoy poniendo en un sistema de medida. Una taza. A cup. Now, okay. así no, normal, solo tea, uncountable. Cheese. Cheese. What do you think? One cheese, two cheese, three cheese. No, ¿verdad? Uncountable. Uncountable. Cereal. Cereal. Uncountable. Uncountable, very good. Wait. Very good, uncountable. Okay, apple. Uncountable. Uncountable. No se queda. Uncountable. Quiero que se quede, no se queda. Ah, no, perdón. Apple, countable. 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 Egg. egg. Countable. 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 One egg, One two, egg two eggs. Egg. Rice. Rice. Uncountable. 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 Meat. Uncountable. Meat. Uncountable. Uncountable, right? Porque no puedo decir one meat, two meat. Three meats. No, I have to say one pound of meat. Una libra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uncountable. Cherries. Let me see, right here. Countable. 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 One cherry, two cherries. Yeah. Flour. Flour oh, is harina. Uncountable. 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 Jam. Jam. Uncountable. Yeah, uncount eh, uncountable, right? Mm -hmm. Bueno, aquí bueno, está como, está como estoy como, como entre, 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 countable entre countable and uncountable. uncountable. Uh, Ana, uh, Ana, la voy a poner, voy en, a mute poner en mute porque me estoy porque escuchando, me estoy escuchando yo. yo. Eh, ok, si, si, si uso una taza, un jarro, una jarra, o un, entonces sí, es countable. Mm -hmm. Pero solamente jam. It's uncountable. Okay? So, no sé qué me están pidiendo aquí, si el sistema de unidad o lo que estoy viendo aquí, que es un, a jar. I think that, that, that is the, the jump. Okay. El jarro. Okay. Chips. Chips. Uh, let me see. Where's chips? I don't see chips. Yo creo que es esta. It's French fries. It's French fries. Uh -huh. Count, uh, one chips, two chips. Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay, salt. Uncountable, right? Uncountable. Burger. Burger. Give me two Uncountable. Burger. Uncountable. All right, so, All right, so I think we're I think good. We're good. Ah, chips is la única. La única. I don't, okay, I don't know if it's chips or french fries. fries. Okay, very good. So this is a little practice, right? About countables and uncountables that we that we did, right? Uh, anybody have questions? Lo que es no. un countable no. and an uncountable noun? Do you have any questions? 
No. Okay, very good. So, let me stop sharing my screen. Right now, I'm going to take a screenshot de las personas que están aquí. Okay, so if you want to right now, please turn on your camera, if you can. Prendan la cámara, just need to, I need to take a picture, and then, um, this, así vamos a hacer la asistencia. Como si estuviéramos en clase presencial. Teacher, yo tengo encendida la cámara, pero como que está empañada, la de la compu, y no salgo. Pero sí la tengo encendida. No importa. No eh, importa eh, solo recuerden que están, recuerden eh, que, que pongan su, que ponga su nombre. Si, sí, por ejemplo, su cámara no sirve, simplemente pongan el nombre. Por ejemplo, aquí tengo alguien que puso el nombre inglés, inglés intermedio. Entonces, pero... Puedo, ah, ver no, la, puedo ver la, la, cámara, la de cámara de esa persona. Pero el mío sí está cabal con el nombre. Uh, Ana Guadalupe Rodríguez. Levante la mano. Levante la, mano. la manita que está la ahí. Que está ahí. <risa> ya, ya vieron la, ya vieron la, la opción no la que está ahí para levantar, mano. Para levantar mano. No la logro ver. Bueno. Voy a dejar la mía así también. Se identifica mi foto, ¿no? Ok, very es que good. Esta so cámara... Solo que, sí. so que, que tengo que poner, eh, poner la, fecha. Eh, la fecha. Let me try it again. Okay, yes, too. Okay, yes, too. So, let's go back now. I want to I want to continue sharing my screen. I want to take you to the next lesson that I have. So, well, teacher, ya puedo eh, in my name say English intermedio y yo puse mi nombre. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, cuando tú ingresas eh, antes de la clase, antes de ingresar a, 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 la, a la clase aquí. Mira las opciones que te da bajo perfil. Puede que te dé la opción de cambiar tu nombre bajo perfil. Ya ingresando a Zoom con tu contraseña. Antes sí. de ingresar a la reunión de nosotros aquí. ¿Me entiendes? La, para la próxima. Uh -huh. eh, y también ayer no pude, el, quiero ver, el jueves no pude ingresar, por eso logré venir, pero no pude. Cuando está lloviendo, digo tiene problemas. Ah, sí, ese problema de conexión ahí no podemos hacer nada. Ahí intente. Ya les voy a dar unos tips después para eso. Sí. A ver, let me see. So. Okay, very good. So, after the countables, ya hicimos el warm up, un calentamiento de countables and uncountables, right? Creo que todos estaban ahí. Hicimos la práctica ahorita con las frutas. All right, very good. So, the next thing that we have is adverbs of quantity. This is lesson 2.6, no me equivoco, 2.6, I think. Lesson 2.6. Adverbs of quantity. Now, I want you to see something that sometimes in English, eh, no quiero decir una cantidad específica, right? Porque tal vez no tengo esa información. So, I'm going to use a quantity adverb or adverbs of quantity. For example, no sé si ustedes han visto las noticias. Muestra mucha gente en los parques, en los mercados. There, and you can say, right, because I see a lot of people there, okay? Yo no sé cuántas hay específicamente. I don't know. Okay. But you can say, there are too many people in the park. Okay. Ahorita que muestran las imágenes de la gente ahorita después de la cuarentena. You can say, you can say there are too many people in the market. There are too many people in the street. Okay. Now, 
no sé cuántos, sino que uso too many. Too many. Okay. Y aquí vamos a ir de más a menos. Okay. En lo que vamos viendo aquí el vocabulary. So, people is, I can count people. One, pe uh, one person, two people, three people, four people, I can count. So, do you see where there it says uh, count now? Count now? So, ahorita estamos viendo los count nouns. Very good. Then, another word that I can use, there should be fewer cars. Or, I can say, there should be fewer people right now. Deberían de haber menos gente en la calle. There should be fewer people in the street. Okay? Or, we can use more. Okay? We need more police officers in the street. Right? Opinion. We need more police officers in the street. Okay? Aquí estamos usando aren't enough in negative. For example, you want to say there aren't enough buses. Right? Ahorita no todos los buses están circulando, so se, va a ser difícil. So you can say there aren't enough buses right now in the street. Okay? You can change this. Yes, you can say Cualquier otro noun, for example, doctors. Doctors is a count noun. There aren't enough doctors in the hospitals. Okay, right now. Uh, then we have non-count nouns. Now, let me use another color. Now we have non-count nouns. Okay. Now here you say, for example, there is too much traffic. No sé si han visto las noticias en la mañana. Parece que mucho tráfico. There is too much traffic. There should be less pollution. ¿Puedo contar pollution? No, ¿verdad? Can you count pollution? No. No, you don't. One pollution, two pollution. No, right? No tiene sentido. So that's why we're using non-count nouns. There should be less pollution. There should be less pollution now that we have less buses. Yes. We need more public transportation. Hmm, puede ser verdad para ahora. Or maybe you have a different opinion. I don't know. We need more public transportation. There isn't enough. There isn't enough. But remember, you have to have non-count noun. For example, education. Let's, Tomemos un non-count noun. Can you count education? No, ¿verdad? No podemos contar education, right? Okay. So this is a non-count noun. So, encaja. Encaja aquí. There isn't enough education in our country. Okay? So I can use it. Igual, estoy yendo de más a menos. So these are more and these are less. Okay? So you're going to use this vocabulary right now. And let's see, let's see if you can finish the sentences here. Maybe you can help me. Number one, can you see? Number one, it says, there is or are blank people in the street. ¿Cuál creen ustedes? Yes. There are. There are. Okay, people, right? Because I'm using plural. Okay, there ahí are. estamos bien, pero which book adverb do I use? So, are is correct. Uh -huh. There are. I, I have to I use a count now. You know. Enough. There. Hello. Uh huh. Teacher. Yes. Can you listen to me? Yes. I don't understand because people is plural. Mm -hmm. For is contable or non contable? Countable. 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 You because you can count people. Mm -hmm. One person, but all people. 
Two people, three people, four people, five oh. people. Tara, excuse me, I get your point. I mean, uh, when we are talking about a singular person, we say person, but we are, we are talking about plural, we say people, but it's the same, it's accountable anyway. It's accountable, huh? So, you can use, pueden usar cualquiera de estos que están aquí en esta lista. Uh -huh. Let's use the first one. Too many. Estoy usando el vocabulario aquí, too many. Uh -huh. There are too many people in the streets. La opinión de, del ministro de, de salud ahorita. There are too many people in the street. Yes? Okay. Todas estas son opiniones. All right, very good. Next, number two. Pollution. Pollution. Tienen que fijarse en el noun. Pollution. There are, can you repeat? There is. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. There is. Uh-huh. Finish. Pollution is a non-countable noun, right? So I can use any of these. There is too much. Very good. There is too much pollution in El Salvador. Very good. Okay. Let's do number three. Uh, let's see. Quien quiera say number three? Uh, let's say, uh, Rafael, you can do number three. All right. I think there should be less people outside their homes. Okay. Very good. I think there should be less people outside their home. Very good. Uh, you can say less or you can say, bueno, en el caso de esto no, porque son uh, people, you can count. So you can say, I think there, sh there should be, ¿cuál es el equivalente de less? Solo que para counts. Fewer. Fewer. Very good. Number four, Eric. There should be more women. There should be movement, movimiento de gente. There should be less. 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 Right? This is just an opinion, right? Esta yo la he hecho, pero simplemente son opiniones. You can have a different opinion. There should be less movement of people outside. Very good. Movement is a noun. No es un verbo, because I'm talking about a thing. Movement. Uh, number five. Uh, let's say, who went? Uh, Stephanie. Number five. We need more doctor COVID. We need blank doctors to treat COVID-19 patients. Doctors, can you count doctors? One doctor, two doctors, three doctors, yeah? Yeah. Entonces, podemos usar cualquiera de esta lista. More. Here. Which one do you think? More. More. Very good. We need more doctors to treat COVID-19 patients. Very good. Good job. Number six, Brian Cisneros. Are you there? We need collaboration. ¿Qué creen ustedes? Countable or non-countable? Collaboration. Non-countable. Non-countable, non right? Non-countable. So I can use any of this list here. What do you think, Brian? More. We need more collaboration between hospitals and government. Right? Opinion, opinion. Number seven. Uh, let's say who we have, Nestro. Number seven, there aren't no. There aren't enough medical supplies. Very good. 
okay? There aren't enough medical supplies for the doctors and nurses. Very good. And number eight, uh, let's say, Michelle, are you there? Yes. Honesty. Honesty is uh, countable or non-countable? What do you think? Non-countable. Non-countable. So we can use any of the words here on the first, on the second list. There isn't, there isn't enough honesty enough. without government. Yes, there isn't enough honesty. Very good. Now, these are only opinions, right? But you can see I use the adverbs to talk about quantities, okay? For example, too many, too much, few, less, more, aren't enough, isn't enough, etc. More, si ustedes se fijan aquí, more es intercambiable, interchangeable, all right? Very good, so are you ready for the speaking activity? Okay, now, si no han visto esta lección, el countable, non-countable, esa, esa base la vimos el jueves, video 2.1. But if you want to uh, understand a little more about this lesson, okay, you can watch this video, okay? No lo vamos a hacer aquí porque son como 10 minutos el video. But we're going to go to the speaking activity. So let me show you what you're going to do. Que van a hacer, all right? You have a list here of nine, hey, deberían de ser diez. Hold on, ahí está, nine, ten. Ten sentences that you're going to do, giving your opinion about the pandemic, okay? For example, ustedes vieron aquí, algunas de estas eran mis opiniones. I use the quantity adverbs. Okay? Y también use countable and non-countable nouns. So, what are you going to do? You're going to work in groups of three, and you're going to fill out these sections, all right? Now, forma de trabajar, hay dos formas, o tres. Pueden trabajar individual, cada uno escribiendo ahí desde, desde, desde su casa. Pueden compartir. Eh, eh, alguien puede abrir este, 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 esta foto y puede compartir. O si quiere compartir Word y solamente poner del 1 al 10 y compartir pantalla. O si no, pueden usar el chat. ¿Ok? Están los grupos de tres y cada quien puede poner una, una oración. All right. Very good. Questions? What are you going to do? No. Using the non-countable, non-countable. And you're using the adverse of frequency. So, yo le voy a poner en WhatsApp esta foto con mis ejemplos. Y, y le voy a poner esta foto. Okay. So, pueden trabajar usando el chat individualmente o compartiendo, alguien comparte la pantalla. Okay, let's go to groups. Let's go to groups of three, three people. Okay, accept the invitation, please go.
Okay, very good. Do you know what you're doing? Yes. yes. Okay, so como van a trabajar? Uh, okay. Chat? Um, Share no. screen? Quizás entre todos la vamos a hacer. Yes. Yes, it will be the best way if you want to work. Mm -hmm. If you want to work. Uh, you can do it writing if you want, or you can do it speaking. But I don't know how to write here. Uh, doesn't give me the option. How to write? Oh, no, esa solo es una foto la que mandé. No vas a poder escribir allí. Es solo una imagen la que mandé. Pero si That's right. Si tú quieres compartir tu pantalla, solamente abre Word. De Yo solo... puedo compartirla también. Ok. Entonces solo abran Word, pongan del 1 al 10. Una persona ahí, solo, ahí lo único que solo una persona puede escribir, pero ustedes le pueden dar el, los ejemplos a él. Ok. Okay, so these are opinions, what you think about the situation now with the pandemic. What do you think? I keep on saying just whatever your opinion is. Okay, hello. Hello, hello, este grupo está bien cayendo. What happened? ¿Cómo están trabajando? Oh. Individualmente. Individualmente. Yes. Ah, pues después van a compartir. Ah, pues no. Ah, pues ahorita vamos a, vamos a hacerlo. <laughs> ok. Eh, ¿Quién tiene una, por lo menos? Yo. Raúl, what do you have? Um, we need more time in quarantine. We need more time in quarantine. Ok, very good. Let me ask you, time, is that a count noun or non-count noun? Count noun? No. No puedes contar One. el tiempo. <laughs> a no sea que, decir, que lo pongas como una hora, dos horas. So, no, mm. el concepto de tiempo es non-count non -count noun. Okay? Now, en este caso usta, usaste more, que puede ser intercambiable. Count nouns or non-count nouns. Okay? But yes, okay. that is correct. Do me a favor, Raúl. Escribir en el chat, so that we can have an example. Uh, uh -huh. okay. No, 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 ahorita. Lo... En el chat de nosotros, no, en el WhatsApp, no. Aquí, en Zoom. Sí, sí. Esta misma que acabo de decir. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. So that we can have that as an example. Okay, Brian, do you have one? Uh, tenía, there is many people infected. There, solo que people is plural, right? Ajá, yo tenía dudas porque habíamos usado el is en el ejemplo. Entonces, no. Yo tengo R aquí, pero... There, R. There, R. R is correct. Uh -huh. R, R is correct. There okay. are many people. Many people. Very good. Now, puedes usar el too many. Do you see, for example, um, en el cuadro con los ejemplos que les puse en WhatsApp? Do you see mm -hmm. there? It says too many. Ok. Mm -hmm. Andrea, do you have one? Andrea, are you there? Hello, Andrea, are you there? There should be m more um, medicine. At the hospitals. Okay, very good. There should be more medicine in the hospitals. Very good. Okay, so a uh, medicine is that count noun or non count noun? Non countable? Non countable, uh huh. Okay, very good. So continue, continue working. Nestor, can you give me an one first? 
Néstor. No sé qué, qué decir. Ok, we are just trying to say... <coughs> we need to use the... Um, the adverse of quantity. Mm -hmm. That we see it many, fewer. So, we, for example, uh, there is too much people outside in the strips. Very so, good. You can say, so, me? too many people or too much people? Too much people. Too many. Because people are count nouns. I really, really, I'm sorry. Yes, too many. Okay, very good. So, ahí está la primera. ¿Quién está escribiendo la primera? No puedo escribir en la imagen. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no vas a poder. Puedes abrir eh, Word. O, o, te, o estás mm -hmm. compartiendo teléfono. No, desde de, de mi compu. Ah, ok, entonces solo abrir Word. O Google. Algún documento, Google ahí, algo. Many times you have. Notepad, if you want to open Notepad. Ah, what happened? It's time. ¿Cómo? Eh, Another example, think about, um, think about uh, time, for example, can be a non-countable noun. I think we need more time in quarantine. For example, example we, have, we have too much time in quarantine. <laughs> Very, good. Very good, okay, excellent, good job. Um, okay. We need more education for the virus virus, mm -hmm. virus okay very good so we need more education education no se puede contar right it's a non countable no. mm -hmm. noun so you can say we need more education for the public very good we okay. need more information information, information. is uh, non countable too very good mm -hmm. También diciendo lo mismo, solamente negativo, there isn't enough information. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, now you can continue. Continue. Si alguien quiere escribir o usar el chat, bienvenido. Um, if you guys want to uh, just only speaking, you can do that too. Mm. En la luna, Sarita. En las calles hay menos carros. En las calles hay menos carros. Say it in English. Translate that in English. How can you say it in English? Okay, another example, Wilfredo, Ana, do you have another example? Hello? Hello. Uh -huh. Wait me, please. What happened to Wilfredo? What? Are you there? Strip. Me escucho bien. Strip. Strip. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. Examples? Uh, in the strip, there are people can, the, far, the family are more joined, uh, the government need more doctors, mm -hmm. and with the COVID-19 in the world, there are less pollution. Okay, very good. Say, the, do the teacher is uh -huh. calling is the world. The doctor need to know a skill. Uh, I didn't hear you, can you repeat? The doctor need a no skill. The doctors need uh, skills, ¿verdad? Habilidades. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O herramientas de trabajo. No okay, sé. you can say um, skills. 
Okay. Skills is good. But skills is a non-countable, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces tiene que usar lo, lo que están bajo non-countable. Teacher, but because uh, more and you no, know, you can use uh, both or no. Yes, you can use both. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank Doctors you. need more skills mm -hmm. to treat patients. A skill with, uh, with S in the end? Yes, with S. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, hoy tengo menos pena de hablar. Los primeros días sí le tenía pena. <laughs> okay. Very good. Eh, a, al final de la clase me deja más, más tareas, por favor. Fíjate que de este tema no, no tengo worksheets. No encontré de este tema. Pero lo, eh, le voy a enseñar otra, otro grammar lesson. De ese sí tengo. Teacher, otro, otro example. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be fewer people in the street. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Teacher, how, how, um, ¿cómo se dice? We need more conciencia. Conscience. 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 Mm -hmm. ¿Sabes qué? No, hay otra palabra que es mejor que se llama awareness. Awareness. Let me, let me send it to you. Awareness significa knowledge or perception of a situation. Okay. Percepción, ¿verdad? Como conocimiento de algo. Awareness. ¿Cómo se escribe? Te la voy a pasar aquí en chat. There, uh, there are a nose. Teacher, repita a nose. A nose? Con... Enough with the F. En, enough. 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 Ah. Mm -hmm. We're adding enough. Uh, um, how do you say medicina? How do you say mes medicine? Medicine. Uh -huh. And uh, there aren't enough medicine in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So look at medicine is, is singular, so you have to use verb to be is. There isn't enough medicine. Porque medicine no, no le está poniendo una S, no es algo, es, un, es una idea, ¿verdad? Es mm -hmm. algo que no, que no puedes contar. Entonces, cuando yo no puedo contar algo, se usa is. No, depende. Eh, sí, bueno, sí. Si, si tú puedes ver allí, por ejemplo, en la lista de los ejemplos, al final dice, bajo la, la tabla que está a la derecha, with non-countable uh -huh. nouns. ¿Ves la última, el último ejemplo? Él Let dice, me see. There isn't enough parking. Um, in, in, in the platform, teacher. No, in, la, in WhatsApp. Do you see the picture that I put, the examples? Después lo voy a ver, porque... Entonces, in this case, is 
uh, there isn't enough medicine in the hospital. Mm -hmm, correct. There isn't enough medicine in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, very good. So I want you, um, everybody, give me one example, at least on the chat. Put it on the chat. Aquí de Zoom, el chat de Zoom. Give me an example. Cada quien ahí, escríbeme uno. Write one example. in the chat. That says Stephanie says I need I need to drink more coffee today. Okay. Okay, usando los adverbs of Ah, pero fuera del video, profe, en, de, en, el, en el chat de WhatsApp. No, here, Zoom. Here, here Zoom. Zoom. I don't and... ¿A dónde está para, para mensajes? ¿Quién encontró el botón para mensajes en el celular? El verde, compartir, no. 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 Le da Use the option eight. more. More, where it says more. O más en español. Más mm -hmm. y luego chat. Creo que tiene tres puntitos, ¿verdad? Ah, yes. sí, sí, sí. Okay, uh, very good. Then have another example. Raúl says, we need more time in quarantine. Very good, Raúl. Good example. Uh, Brian, there should be more hospitals. Very good. Uh, Vladimir, there are many people sick around the world. Very true, yes. Good example. Uh, Andrea Guzman, she says, I think we need less misunderstandings about the disease. Very good. Uh, Carla, we need more doctors and nurses. Very good. Okay, quien mas? Nestro? Uh, Vanessa, we need more nurses in the hospitals. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. That's it. No more. Okay. Very good. Let me give you a short video. I want to show you an extra lesson. Okay. That this lesson is not necessarily on the video. On, no está en la plataforma, right? But it goes very well with what we're learning today, okay? It's going to be how much versus how many, okay? So I want to give you this video. It's only three minutes. So listen up. Counting to 10. Okay, okay class. Let's count these months. Let's go to this video. In this video lesson, we will go over the uh, difference ver between pantalla, how sí, many and yes. how much. These have the same meaning, but they are used with different nouns. How many is used with count nouns. Count nouns are things that we can count. 
For example, five chairs, two boys, 100 books, or five million dollars. We can add an S to the end of count nouns when there is more than one. We use the plural form of a count noun when making questions with how many. You can use this pattern to make many different questions. How many plus plural count noun. We can use this kind of question with many different verb tenses. Here are some examples. How many hours do you have to work today? How many brothers do you have? How many days do you want to stay at the hotel? How many times did you try? How many weeks will it take? How many years have you lived here? How much is used with non-count nouns? These are things that we cannot count. Some examples are water, air, cheese, time, money, and sugar. We use this pattern to make questions with how much. How much plus non-count noun. We can also use this question with many different verb tenses. Here are some examples. How much time do we have until our plane leaves? How much money will it cost? How much sugar do we need? How much salt did you use? How much money has he made this year? How much disappointment must I endure? To summarize, when dealing with how many and how much, the only thing you need to think about is whether you are using a count noun or a non-count noun. The question patterns are the same. The basic English grammar point is that many goes with count nouns and much goes with non-count nouns. TalkEnglish.com can help you improve all areas of your English for free. With okay, very good. So did you understand that lesson? How much, how many? Do you understand? How many we use it with count nouns? How much we use it with non-count nouns? For example, how much time do you have? Time, no lo puedo contar, right? Solamente el concepto de time, I can't count it, okay? How much information do you have? Okay. Teacher, and the, how many use for the content is how much for un, uncountable is called eh, it. Lo que está viendo en la pantalla, no, no le escuché porque se cortó un poco, pero lo que está viendo en mi pantalla es, es el resumen. Es que no se ve todo. Ah, este está chiquito. Ya, hoy oh, sí, profe. Ok, all right, very good. Mm -hmm. Questions? No. How many apples do you have? How many pens do you have? How many cars do you have? How many dogs do you have? Todo eso lo puedo contar, okay? Example, let's say, who can give me an example? Um, Raul, can you give me an example? Okay, how many brothers do you have? Very good. Mm -hmm. How much? Try using how much? Voy a regresar a los ejemplos de how much. How much time do you have? How much money will it cost? ¿Se acuerdan lo que no se puede contar de comida? I'm sorry? Repeat. How much sugar did you buy? Uh -huh. How much sugar did you buy? Uh -huh. Correct. Algo que no pueda contar. How much education do you need to be a doctor? How much information do you have? Okay. Uh, let's say another example. Um, let's say, Rafael, maybe you can give me an example with how much, how many? Uh, 
How much do we owe for this one? Okay. Repeat. Can you with repeat both, the example? With both of them or just one? Uh, the first one. How many? How many? How many are you? Hold on. Do you hear me now? English yes, grammar point is that many. Okay, sorry, Rafael. Sorry, sorry. Continue. How many apples now. do I have in the basket? Yes. Uh huh. Teacher is correct. How much love do you need? How much? What? Repeat. How much love do you need? Love. Uh huh. Amor. Uh huh. Amor, see. Sí. Yes, uh -huh. yeah, put it's in. correct. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's correct. How many ha uh, other? How many half do you have? How many half do you have? No, eso, eso no está correcto. How many and then? Yeah, no. ¿Cuántas casas tienes? House, houses, House. uh -huh. houses. houses, plural, uh -huh. houses. Uh -huh. How many houses do you have? Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. um, Okay, I, very, very good. Uh -huh, and continue. much goes with. Uh, uh, wait, how, much, uh, how much money you spend in that? How much? How much money do you, did you spend? Past, did right? You spend that? Uh -huh. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, very good. So, alguien me dijo, teacher, I feel much better. I can, ha I have more fluency. Ya no me da miedo de hablar. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. Okay, excellent. So, what is the... Teacher, it's called that. I love my family so much. I... Sí, pero eso no tiene nada que ver con how many, how much. No es el mismo much. No. Sí, pero ajá, pero no es en forma de pregunta la que estábamos viendo. Estábamos viendo en okay. forma de pregunta. How much? How many? Mm -hmm. Okay, look. I want to put something in perspective. Poner algo en, pre en perspectiva. Okay? Look at the big picture. All right? Look, fluency is a combination of vocabulary. Okay? Fluency. Fluency es la meta. Mi meta comunicativa en el inglés es fluency. Okay? Um, but it's a combination of vocabulary, grammar, and thought organization. Okay? If you don't have these three things, if you don't have vocabulary, grammar, and thought organization, nunca vas a tener fluency. Okay? Porque la fluidez es una combinación de las tres. Okay. So, right now, today, what did we practice? We practice grammar. Okay? We practice count nouns, non count nouns, uh, the adverbs quantities, todos adverbs de quantity que usamos, enough, too much, less, more. And I gave you how much and how many. Did you see? Entonces, yo les di, un, les di una actividad para que ustedes puedan practicar el thought organization. Okay? So that you can practice speaking. Aquí viene la, la, la parte comunicativa, speaking. Okay? So it's important that you speak when you are in the group. Traten de hablar lo más posible ahí en los grupos, right? Algunos grupos los, los visité y no estaban diciendo nada. Llevaban 10 minutos callados. Thought organization, speaking. Okay, and then you need to increase your vocabulary. You need to increase your vocabulary, porque si no tienes vocabulary, nunca vas a completar el cuadrito, el triangle, perdón. <laughs> All right, very good. So let's go. Uh, you're, you can see the video 2.4, el que hicimos ahora, 2.4. You can watch that video again, okay? And there's a practice. Hay un knowledge check para el 2.1 eh, y el 2.4. Hay un knowledge check para cada video. All right, so you can watch that. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Okay. All right, have a good evening.
Good evening. Good evening.